Okay, today is March 1st, 2017, and right now at 9 p.m., we have a temperature of 48 degrees in the foothills of Los Angeles. The relative humidity is 42%. Dew point is 26 degrees, and we have a barometer reading of 30.13 inches. And we're watching a uh, developing gale right over the Hawaiian Islands right here. And this has a transmitter on it. We can see that right angle form towards the end of the loop. Let's go ahead and stop that and scroll through it. We can see the uh, right angle right there towards the end of the loop. And also the uh, very straight edge that develops right, right there. We can see that. That is a transmitter-generated feature. They're forcing heat into the core of that uh, developing gale, which is preventing uh, it from developing into a hurricane. This is also, uh, this activity will generate a lot of wind because you're forcing basically uh, high pressure right into a low pressure system. You have descending air flowing into a, a low pressure system. That's uh, going to develop a lot of wind. And that's what we're seeing right here. The other thing that's going on is that there's a blizzard uh, condition for the uh, Big Island. There's two 14,000 foot peaks on the uh, Big Island, and those are getting a lot of snow. Let's go ahead and take a look at the. Uh, this is called uh, Hawaii News Now. This was linked to the Dredge Report today. And so I wanted to share this because it, it uh, explains how much snow they're expecting. Right here, uh, 6 to 10 inches is possible with locally higher amounts and high winds. 45 to 55 mile per hour winds with gusts to 65. And that would make sense when you have a... Uh, a low pressure system of that size passing over with a transmitter uh, forcing heat and uh, clockwise descending air into that uh, area. And we can see the, uh, there's one of the uh, observatories right here, Mauna Kea, right there. And another shot. All right. So that's what's happening in Hawaii. Uh, a lot of rain as well. We can take a look at the Doppler map real quick. And we can see the, uh, the manipulation going on here. We have uh, some ground transmitters that are chopping up the rain pattern once again and near the Big Island. And right down here, near the southern tip where that volcano is located, there we see a very straight edge. This is definitely a transmitter manipulation. We can see how straight that is. Same thing over here. That is perfectly straight. All right. <clears throat> Let's go back to the uh, Hawaii map and we can see the uh, manipulation going on here in the uh, infrared loop. There's quite a, quite a bit of uh, red uh, throughout this area. That in indicates a heavy rain. The depth of the water vapor is, is uh, Quite deep. We see a lot of red. Next, let's take a look at the uh, surface analysis map and we can see what's going on here. We have that uh, developing gale right here moving to the north. This is right near the Hawaiian Islands. Moving north, we have right over here a uh, hurricane force storm, 992 millibar. This is moving due east. And so we've got a collision course right here. Developing and so what's happening right in this area between the two storms? We're going to take a look right now at uh, the big map, the uh, Northeast Pacific water vapor loop, and we can see that in preparation for that event, we see a lot of high pressure being installed right here. There's a transmitter uh, generating a blockade, a channel right through here, and we can see that dark area form, and we can see all the evaporation taking place right here dead center where all that moisture is moving. It's, it's just dead ending right there. And uh, let's look at the uh, infrared map. We can see that channel right here firming up. All this water vapor right in here, all that rain is just quickly evaporating from that transmitter activity. They're forcing high pressure right into this area, very strong high pressure to prevent this uh, eastbound Hurricane force storm with, you know, from colliding with this system moving north. So we got a collision course going here.
We have high pressure installed right over the uh, west coast. Now we can see that right here. And there's also what looks like a upper level low pressure system right here spinning uh, counterclockwise right here. And this is moving towards uh, central and southern California. We can see that. And this is all high pressure. So we're going to have some wind according to the uh, people that report the weather. Starting late tonight, maybe early in the morning, we should have some wind because of the high pressure being enforced on top of this low pressure system. So we've got high pressure and low pressure mixing. That's going to bring wind. And this will move in uh, later tonight. Also, this uh, high pressure zone here is blocking all this moisture uh, jet stream flow from getting into uh, California. You see that? Pretty obvious what's going on there. On this map, we don't see anything really. Uh, that upper level low that appears to be spinning counterclockwise is not showing up here. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out was the uh, right here, this jet stream. Uh, this feature just popped up today, early this morning. This flow was moving right into Mexico. And uh, starting this morning, we saw this uh, dark area just pop up like a jack in the box, high pressure zone, right on top of the jet stream. And that is going to evaporate all this moisture moving in. And that's uh, pretty clear to see. This is a that's a man-made feature. All right, let's take a look at the uh, pressure maps. We have the sea level pressure. We can see that high parked right off California, right here, blocking everything. Got a storm system up here, and we have this developing gale right here, right near the uh, Hawaiian Islands. This is a surface to upper level low, by the way. Let's look at the 500 millibar next. You see that low right there. And we have a lot of squiggly lines throughout these isobars. And it, next is the uh, 300 millibar. There's that low, that low pressure up there. Okay, now let's take a look at the uh, east coast. We have interesting thing this is the jet stream and there seems to be a transmitter just plowing a path following this uh this area here which would otherwise spin counterclockwise and in plowing across the uh middle of the country this has caused some wild weather tornadoes and, and all sorts of things you can see the path that this is taking it went right through the area where the uh tennessee and all this area where the Storms were taking place, these tornadoes. It's pretty odd weather for uh, late February and early March. But this is all man made, see? Look, look at that uh, right angle right there. That is a. Let's just stop this and take a look. You can see an angle right here. Right here. Straight edge. This is a beyond 90 degrees this is probably 120 degrees but we can see that that's a straight edge right there same thing here so this is a manipulation going on and that is causing a lot of wild weather all through this area as they force descending heated air into that low pressure system this this otherwise would be spinning counterclockwise as it plows through so it's a um, maybe six and one half dozen of the other. If they let this thing go, it would spool up into a giant uh, vortex. Maybe far worse than, than, the, uh, than what they're doing here. Who knows? <clears throat> okay, here's the uh, Modus Today map. Uh, there's not much chemtrail activity in the uh, southern part of California, but if we pan north and look at Washington State, you can see it's all through here. And offshore up off to the left over here, we can see same thing. Take a look next at the uh, SSEC water vapor map. And we can we can see that uh, much better view of this uh, upper level low pressure system. So the that uh, 300 millibar map had a closed low. That's what that was. It wasn't marked, but we can see it right here. This is surrounded by high pressure. 
and this is going to bring us our wind because uh, this is moving in with high pressure right on top of it and they uh the people they the, the people reporting the weather on tv are calling that a santa Ana wind condition in fact we have an upper level low right here which is a, actually a dry upper level low that's uh, been stopped by this transmitter activity right here this giant uh, area of high pressure so that's that's uh, what's happening all right so we'll leave it here and leave it right here and do another update later all right that's it